several years ago when I worked in high school youth ministry at a local Catholic parish. One of my favorite songs was Find Us Ready by Tom Booth. Its opening words are, find us ready, Lord, not standing still. Find us working and loving and doing your will. Find us ready, faithful in love, building the kingdom of mercy and love. Readiness is the call of today's gospel. Yet to answer that readiness call, we first need to prepare ourselves and be spiritually awake. So are we ready for an awakening adventure? This morning, we will adventure together as Sarah and Abraham did in the first reading from Hebrews. As we look closely at how we can grow in interior readiness and what helps us to wake up to God's presence. I'd like to begin by inviting everyone to come aboard for a train ride on the Mary Magdalene Express. We've all heard of the Polar Express. Well, this is a summertime ride on the Mary Magdalene Express. We're going to have four stops on our Mary Magdalene train into awakening. The first two are related to readiness and the last two to life's experiences. Although there are a myriad of ways to ready us for God's inbreaking into our lives, I want to offer two that I find particularly helpful a spiritual practice, and companions on the journey. The first stop then is spiritual practice. I believe it's important, in fact, imperative, that we follow some type of spiritual practice. This helps keep us grounded and boosts our awareness of the divine essence within and among us. Some of these, although it could take many forms, you may not necessarily recognize them as spiritual practices, but they have a significant spiritual element to them if we wake up to it. Some of these are yoga, tai chi cha, a contemplative prayer, a meditative stroll, music, painting, woodworking, running, dancing, quilting, keeping a gratitude journal, a nature walk, swimming, gazing in the outdoors or at an object, and the list goes on. As a brief example, our daughter's father-in-law, Steve, is a very talented woodworker. For their wedding reception, he made about 30 wooden replicas of mountains for centerpieces for the reception. We were gifted with one, and it now has a special place on our fireplace mantle. Every time I look at it, I feel God's presence in the unique grains of each piece of wood and in its overall beauty. Most recently, Steve created a stunning rocking chair for his son and daughter-in-law to rock their six-month-old daughter, Tenley. This chair was an eight-month-long adventure in faith in which he navigated numerous problems by cracking wood and a challenging design. He was ready at every turn to persevere. And his creation is a work of art worthy of gazing at for hours. Steve has an interior 
readiness, grown by woodworking that yearns to share beauty in many different ways. Those who witness his work have an opportunity to wake up to the spirit of God living in that peace. The second stop along this adventure train is being sure we have companions on our journey. Whether a trusted friend or family member, a spiritual director, a fellow journeyer in faith, or a, an inspirational author. Sharing our joys and struggles with others who will walk alongside us, help open us to God's inbreaking presence in all of life's moments, even and maybe especially in our darkest ones. I think it's also important to consider ancestors who have gone before us as companions. Perhaps a faith-filled ancestor helped wake us up to God's love through their love, their inner strength, or the way they lived their life. To refuel our train now, we'll pause for a brief, quiet moment to think about the spiritual practices we find helpful and to appreciate companions that wake us up to the God of every moment. Our train is now pulling into the third stop. I want to relate an awakening experience that one of our good friends, whom I will call John, shared with me. Several years ago, John experienced chest pains while he was doing some outdoor work. So he drove himself to the hospital. When the medical personnel hooked him up to the machines. They told him he was in the process of having a heart attack. He told the doctor he really wanted to get back to what he was doing. And so on a scale of one to 10, how bad was this 10 being the worst? The doctor said, oh, about a nine. Well, that really got John's attention. So he began praying the Lord's prayer the prayer of Jesus. He said, as he prayed, he felt scales fall off his heart. He became quite emotional as he shared this mystical experience with me. It clearly was a pivotal awakening moment in his life. After he recovered, he sought out a group that resonated with his personal spirituality and remained active in it for many years. In this illustration, John drew from his early learning of the Lord's Prayer and unexpectedly awakened to a deeper experience of the divine. Each of us has experienced life's electrifying and jolting moments in different ways. Let us be open to the awakening it draws us to explore. The fourth and final stop on today's Mary Magdalene Express is an encounter with nature. Recently, photos from the James Webb Space Telescope were released. Has anyone seen them? Yes. Aren't they amazing? The incredible detail, beauty, and vastness of these images gives a far-reaching look into deep space. 
they awaken us to the infinite, ever evolving story of creation. This kind of imagery that takes us outside ourselves can ready us for the infinite possibilities that exist, not only beyond us, but also within us in many dimensions. Let us revel in the awakening nature offers us, whether in a simple flower, a majestic oak tree, a thunderous waterfall, a lumbering grizzly bear, or a newly discovered spiraling galaxy in the deepest part of the universe. These four stops on our Mary Magdalene adventure train. Following a spiritual practice, having companions on the journey, experiencing life's unexpected and electrifying moments, and exploring nature's awakening ways. Ready us to welcome the inbreaking presence of God's love in our hearts. This week, Hop on your readiness train. Think about your spiritual practices and celebrate your companions. Ponder how God is calling you to awaken more fully and the action that awakening may draw you to take. Live awake and find beauty all around. <laughs>